As we approach primary election day in the Commonwealth, we're taking a deeper dive into a special election in the 139th district, a seat which is currently vacant. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar visited Wayne County to speak with the candidates who will be on the ballot in two weeks. Former State Representative Joe Adams' office has sat empty since he resigned in February. Now, two candidates are eyeing the vacant seat, hoping to finish out the last months of Adams' term. Robin Skibber will appear as a Democratic candidate on the ballot. We've had meet and greets. We've been to people's clubhouses in their community. We've gone to um, church functions. We've gone to firehouse functions just to get out there and, and see where the people are and what they need. Skibber spent decades working in the Pike County Area Agency on Aging, including as director. She believes one of the biggest issues the 139 faces is access to health care. I think access to health care and the long-term care services are very lacking. At least um, if you are not rich, we don't have any options for people. In addition to health care, Skibber would support women's reproductive rights and access to more school resources. Now, if elected, she'll make history. I would be very proud to be the first uh, Democrat and woman that's been in the 139th district. The Republicans have nominated Jeff Olsimer, an insurance salesman and township supervisor. I've been, I've been going to a lot of the municipality meetings, many of the fire company meetings. I've also been knocking on a lot of doors. Olsimer agrees with Skibber about the need for access to health care, but will also fight to reduce costs in Harrisburg. The top issues that, that I hear are, are property taxes and reducing costs. Uh, for, for hardworking uh, men and women and uh, seniors on fixed incomes. If elected, Olsimer says his goal would be to connect the local community to the state house. If you're looking to elect somebody that has experience and has the ability to work and build a bridge to others and work with local people in the community, I'm that person. To learn more about each candidate and what they'll bring to the state house if elected in the special election on the 23rd, head on over to this story on our website, fox56.com. In Hamlin, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first of 10. Both Skibber and Olsimer will also appear on the primary ballot to then fill the seat permanently. They are joined by Republican Matthew Contreras on the ballot.